happy to have you with us for the Retirement Education Hour. Hi, everyone. Megan Mozak, alongside financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. Kirk and Michael are both with the Retirement Education Foundation. And throughout today's show, we're going to be telling you about the foundation's special courses, deep dives into all things retirement and how you can attend, how you can get a front row seat. We want you to reserve your spot today. So stay tuned for that. That's coming. And we have a great program lined up for you today. If you are thinking about retirement, you're getting close to retirement, or you're newly retired, this show is for you. We're going to be talking about what we like to call the retirement lottery. And, you know, Kirk and Michael, we discuss people who are really kind of at the edge of retirement and they've done all the things right, but they're at the precipice. And this is where things, if you're not careful, you don't have the right planning and the right trusted advisor by your side, it can go off the rails. And I want you to describe what you mean when you say we're going to talk about the retirement lottery. Well, I think there's two different aspects to the retirement lottery. Are we gam- making unnecessary gambles once we're approaching retirement and or and or have you won? Have you already won? Do you have what you need to give you what you want in retirement, but you're refusing to accept that you've won? Either because you don't understand, you don't realize what your money can provide for you because you, or because you're using outdated strategies and ideas and beliefs and philosophies, those ideas and strategies and general rules that, that are typically for the average baby boomer. And you hear these and you read these things and, and for many of you, you think you're average and you're not average for many of our listeners. And we know who's listening to our shows. We know who attends our courses at the universities. We know that you're not average. You know, I think it's helpful, Michael, again, to set the expectations here. An average baby boomer is going to retire with $200,000 saved. 40% of baby boomers, all they have is social security. That's it. So if you're someone that's got a million, two million, five million, seven million, ten million, you are far from average. If you're retiring with a million, three million, you are you have a lot more than average. And for many of those people, what we see when they attend our class, because they're using the general rules, all the rules, the 4% rule, the 60-40 rule, the rule of 100, the 40% rule, all these different things that exist out there, because of that, they're continuing to work or taking risks that they don't need to. They've already won the lottery. They've won the game. It's done. So it's typically either people following all those either outdated rules or rules that never should have existed in the first place, or it's just the psychology and the emotions of changing your lifestyle from working and saving and building that nest egg number to the concept of switching the flipping the switch and going from saving the money to spending it down terrifies people. And so they resort to just thinking, well, one more year, one more year. What if this happens down the road? One more year. And they end up saving way more than they need and working much longer than they have to. And it's ironic on our TV show, we're going to be talking about the amount of wealth that's transferring to the next generation. Look, the bottom line is most of you guys are going to underspend what you otherwise could be spending because you've won something, you've won the lottery, you've won the marathon, you've won the race, and you don't know it. And you, which, so one more year, I, I'll just go one more year, or I won't spend as much right now, or, or I won't take that vacation. And the truth is, and we're going to get to this today through our show, is if you're in your mid-60s, you can take withdrawals. You can pull money out at a rate of 6 7 8% if you just build out a truly comprehensive 30-year retirement plan. Now, part of our frustration is we hear radio shows and TV shows with experts on and, and who do this pitch. The next 10 callers gets a free roadmap to retirement, or we're going to do a tax analysis for the next 20, but only for people today. It drives us crazy. And it's one of the reasons the charity, the foundation started teaching these classes over 10 years ago. And now these courses are being taught at just about every major university in Michigan. We teach them at the University of Michigan, uh, Michigan State University, Novi and Troy campus, Eastern Michigan, Oakland University. The, we stream the classes for the universities. It's an eight-hour class. Register for a class to see if you've won the lottery. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. 
So, Kirk and Michael, let's keep talking about this today. The retirement lottery, what do you want our listeners to come away with on today's program? Well, for for me, Megan, I think it's just to get a, a baseline. We can't let fear drive our decisions. And, and, and one of the starting points is your relationship with money needs to evolve from one of I'm serving money to grow my money to now my money's here to serve me and I get to spend my money. And so to be able to have freedom and happiness and enjoy your retirement the way you want, you need to understand how much income your money can produce and how to prevent yourself from preventing, uh, I mean, how to prevent yourself from behaving irrational during the short-term market events that you're going to continuously have throughout a 30-year retirement. That's what throws people off is it's one thing to think about retirement in a 20, 30, 40 year time frame, but without a plan in place, people allow these short term events to throw them off. And people don't know without a plan, am I retiring in the next 10 years, five years? Should I be retired right now? And all those different timelines, different answers drive how they should be acting. But unfortunately, people without a plan typically react to these short term events and make mistakes in these time periods. I think the other thing, Michael, I want to make sure we cover today is, is how it can be dangerous to keep working. People just assume, I, I'll just work an extra year or two. I'm not quite sure. How can that hurt me? Well, uh, it, it, people, people got hurt this year, right? For some people, and depending on what the market does the rest of this year, not retiring last year and taking care of in repositioning your assets for a retirement plan is this, as opposed to an accumulation plan because they didn't retire and build their retirement plan at that point. Some of those people are going to have to work an extra three, five, seven, ten years if they are allowed to, if, that's, if their employers allow them to continue to work, which is ironic. Only 40% of retirees get to choose when they retire. The rest of them, 60%, it's health, recessions, market events company issues. So what we want you to do, we want you to attend an eight hour course and we're teaching them at all the major universities and just stop for a minute and think if these courses are at a university and a charitable program is offering them, maybe there's some value to them. This is a master's level class. We get the engineers, the CEOs, CFOs, the highly educated people who have a million plus attend an eight-hour course and all you have to do to attend is make a $29 donation to charity if you'd like to register go to retirementplanningedu.org that's retirementplanningedu.org back with kirk and michael right after this we're glad you've tuned in to the retirement education hour megan mozak alongside Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. You can meet people like Kirk, Michael, other financial instructors when you attend the foundation's courses. These are university level courses that are designed to give you insights and confidence into this next phase of life. We want you to have a great retirement, have a successful retirement. And that starts with understanding what it takes, having that plan to give you that confidence. Here's where these courses are taught. The University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, the Novi or the Troy campus, or Oakland University. You have a choice. It's either a one-day or a two-day course, and you can get registered right now. Reserve your spot because it does fill up quickly. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org, or you can call 800 240 8981. Again, 800 240 8981. I want to point out if you'd rather attend from the comfort of your own home, these courses are streamed live and you can choose that way as well. So check it out. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. I want to get back to the topic of the day. And speaking of this program, if you want to listen again, if you heard something and you want it repeated, you are welcome to listen via podcast. You can get this show as a podcast anywhere you find your podcasts. Okay. So Kirk, Michael, I want to get back to this retirement lottery we've been talking about. What do you mean when you say you could have won the retirement lottery, but you don't even know it? How could that be dangerous? So for, again, look, we're not talking about the average baby boom who's retired with $200,000 saved. 
the people who typically listen to our shows and attend our courses they have a they have a little more they have more resources right and so for those people who you know you have got 800 a million 3 million 5 million 10 million those people our greatest fear for you guys isn't that you're going to outlive your money. I know that's your fear. I know that's what the industry has convinced you to be fearful of, by the way. That is so self-serving why the industry has convinced you to be afraid. But we'll set that aside for a minute. We know that's how you feel. Our fear for you is you're going to, in our experiences, teaching thousands and thousands and thousands of people in universities for over a decade is that Many of you are going to way underspend what you otherwise should be spending. And we also know many of you are going to work much longer than you needed to work. And because you've continued to work, it's like this. And I use this analogy all the time, Michael. It's like you've ran a marathon and you've literally won the marathon. You've won the race. You came in first place. You broke all your records, everything you wanted to accomplish, but it wasn't good enough. You either didn't know you won, you didn't, you were too fearful, your anxiety got in the way, you decided you were going to go back and treat, try to break your own record and not just win the race, but break all records there were. So I'm going to rerun the last 10 miles of the marathon. And when you do that, you tear an ACL, you pull a hamstring, you uh, uh, blow up your Achilles, and now you can't finish the race. Now you can't, now you don't have what you need to give you what you want. And you had already had it. You won the race. Well, that's been the sad case that we've seen from people who probably should have retired in 2022, now coming to the class and here in 2023, where at the start of last year, they would tell us, you know, at the start of last year, I had X and now I have 25% less because I was in growth tilted, growth mode, and now I can't retire. I had enough to go and I had enough to provide all the income that I wanted, the long-term care safety nets that I needed and all those different things taken care of. But I kept working, I kept taking too much risk, and I blew a tire. And now what? Well, it's funny, Michael. A lot of those people, okay, so, so I, I don't want to confuse people. That is a real risk for many of you. Many of you still today have what you need to give you what you want for retirement. You've won the lottery. You've won, right? You've got it. But either you don't know you have it or your anxiety is preventing you from just finishing and being done. Or because the market went down 20, your growth tilted portfolios down 25%. Or because you, you made a mistake and didn't retire last year and didn't take your lump sums and your lump sums have now fallen 20% and is likely to go down again next year. You already might have enough. Who cares what you had? What do I have now? It could get worse. Don't think by continuing to work, it, could, it just automatically gets better. Because if we have a recession the second half of this year, Michael, it's going to get worse. And then you're older. You're the one getting laid off if we have a recession. You're the one that's going to be out of a job. Now, <laughs> now, now you're out of a job. You have 30, 40% less of what you had. You had what you needed, but you, you refuse to take the lottery winnings. You just refuse to accept that you had won the lottery or won the race because of a lot of its fear. And a lot of it is you know, 40, 50 years of the financial service industry conditioning people to believe you have to protect your principal in retirement. You should be afraid of outliving your money. So if there's a short-term market event, spend less. These are all terrible messages that only allows the financial service industry to make more money. The less you spend, the more they make. Just keep remembering that. The less you spend of your money, the more our industry, the financial service industry makes. And that's something we teach you at the class of how much income can I take? Michael, this is so irritating, isn't it? I mean, it's so frustrating to watch people go through this. It is because if the industry can convince someone to spend less money and convince them to work longer, they can not build that person a plan. They can convince that, convince that person to protect their principal, meaning they get to make more money. The industry makes more money. And that person works longer, spends less, and does not enjoy the retirement they've earned. Yeah, no, right, exactly. Their strategy is take your 4% out, which, by the way, is just insane. Well, now they're saying 3.3%. It's, it's insane. <laughs> they're getting even more conservative. Michael, we show on our website, we walk through sample plan. Uh, come to a class. We walk through multiple sample plans. There, it's not hard. Six, seven, eight, nine percent withdrawal rates in your 60s. You can have that with zero chance of outliving your income, with long term care safety nets, with all the provisions for the surviving spouse if you're married to protect the surviving spouse. 
You're not going to get that from the financial service industry because the more you spend of your money, the less they get to manage, the less they make. Again, it's why over 10 years ago, the charity began teaching these courses that we've taught them at every major university in Michigan now. Currently being taught at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Nova and Troy Campus, Oakland University. We're also streaming the classes while we're at the university teaching it. And it's interactive. You can bring in your questions and we'll, we'll interact right in the class with you. you it, it's a master's level course. It's taught over one full Saturday. It's an eight-hour full day, 200-page textbook, or two evenings, four hours per evening. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity to attend. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. We'll be back with Kirk and Michael right after this. Great to be in the studio with financial instructors, Kurt Cassidy, Michael Mazarin, both with the Retirement Education Foundation. Hi, everyone. Megan Mozak here. We're glad you've tuned in to the Retirement Education Hour. Great show for you today. We're talking about the lottery. No, not Powerball. We're talking about the <laughs> retirement lottery. And, you know, Kirk and Michael are really shedding some light on what you need to be thinking about. If, if you're nearing retirement, if you're saving for retirement or newly retired, this topic is definitely for you. But before we get back into it, I want to make sure you have the website and the phone number to get registered for the foundation's university level courses on retirement. We want you to attend. We want you to get a seat. Here's the web address. It's retirementplanningedu.org. Again, that's retirementplanningedu.org. The phone number is 800 240 8981. Again, 800 240 8981. And to help you make plans, here's where these courses are taught the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi, and Troy campus, or Oakland University. And you can decide, you can choose between a two day course or a one day course. The choice is yours. In fact, there's even a choice to stream them live, and you can attend from the comfort of your own home. We're going to dive back into the show, and this show is available via podcast. If you'd like to listen or share with a friend, you can get this show wherever you find your podcasts. So, Kirk and Michael, let's go back into this retirement lottery. I heard you say that you can serve money or money can serve you. How does that play a factor in retirement? So it's something we talk about a lot. I think it's actually trending now in our industry. People are starting to use this. We've been talking about this for year, years. I, really, retirement and money, it's all behavioral. What's going to drive your success is managing your behaviors and not allowing fear to drive all of your decisions. And the easiest way to begin doing that is recognizing how you've been treating money throughout the accumulation, uh, the accumulation phase of your life, right? You're accumulating wealth. You're saving, putting money away. You're serving money so that you can raise your family and then send your kids off to college. And ultimately, to get to this point where many of you are either in or very close to retirement, right? What has to happen is your relationship with money needs to evolve. It needs to change. This is difficult for people. It's, you know, 30 years of conditioning of serving. Now I'm trying to tell you and we're trying to teach you to let that money serve you. Stop serving it, but it needs to serve you. And as a result, all of your strategies need to change. All the, the relationship you have with your money needs to evolve as looking at as a tool to serve you for the rest of your life, right? And so, Michael, this, this is... It's difficult because it, you get conflicting information from the whole financial service industry in terms of how people should be retiring. If you think about the rules that they come up with, it's a, the, the rules based upon continuing to serve money. Protect your principal. Spend less during times of market volatility. Focusing on what investments to invest in to drive growth and performance. Folks, I got a newsflash for you. And you need to come to the class. If you've been listening to our radio show, you've heard us talk about this for a long time. What is going to drive your performance in retirement is not what you invest in. 
But where you take your income from and when you take your income from the different accounts during different market uh, events, that's going to drive performance. It's called sequence of returns risk. We'll talk about it in the next segment. But you got to learn to let money serve you. And, and, and uh, uh, you've won. So many of you won. It's hard. It, you can, I hope you guys can hear our, my passion and frustration to watch you guys struggle with this transition. Well, and that's, we talk to people at the class constantly, and one of the biggest pieces of feedback that we get are people saying, well, I'm saving, I'm growing the money, and the end goal is retirement. And then we ask them, okay, so how do you know when you're there? There is no magic number. People will say, well, once I have a million or two million or five million, that's enough for me to retire. And we ask people, well, why is that the number for you? Have you built a plan to prove that to yourself? And they say, well, no, but I feel like if I have three, four, five, whatever million, that should be enough, Right. They might not need that much. If they're not spending enough to require three, four, five million, if you only need two and a half or two, whatever the number is, then why are you shooting for three, four, or five million? Just because that number makes you feel safe. People are making this massive decision on how to save, where to save, how long to work for, when to retire, based on a number that makes them feel safe based on no math. It's crazy, Michael, right? I mean, it's like, okay, so if what makes me feel good is $3 million, and I was at $3 million last year, but now we had a market pullback. Now I'm at $2.5 million. I'm not going to retire. It could be $2 million next year if we, if we hit another recession. And how long will you keep your job? It's, you guys are you're still serving money. You, now what, does you, what do you need to give you what you want? Warren Buffett says it, and I use this quote all the time, almost every show now, you have to be insane to risk what you have for something you don't need. In other words, if you have what you need to give you what you want, you have to be insane to continue beating that drum. You've won. So uh, just throw rough numbers out there. Michael, if you got $2 million saved and you're 65 years old, you're a married couple, you could create an income stream somewhere in the range of a, 130 to 160, maybe 70,000, depending on variables like Social Security. But 130, 170,000, right? If you got $3 million, you, that's, that's over $200,000 a year. Easy, with zero chance of outliving your income with long-term care protections. But, but I had $4 million last year. Now I only have $3 million, Michael. I, I need to keep working. I, and that's the sad part, right? I, I, I'm stealing your time this segment. Sorry, Michael. The sad part in, in our private practice, what we get to witness and we don't talk about our private practice very much on our radio show because we're here representing our ch- the, the, the charity that we, we teach at. But we are seeing people, so many people die in our 50s and 60s and 70s. And I know you're saying to yourself, that's not me, I'm fine. You, it's crazy. If you already have what you need to give you the retirement you want, you just assume you're invincible. You, you don't think there's going to be a health event that prevents you from doing all the things that you've been serving money to be able to do in retirement, you're missing it. You're, you're going to miss it. I can't tell you how many of our clients missed it or their spouse passed or has a stroke. Now their retirement is totally changed and they had enough five years before that they should have retired. So do yourself a favor. Attend one of our master's level courses at the universities. We teach them at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan, Michigan State, Troy, and Novi Campus, Oakland University. We're streaming the classes from the universities. All you have to do to register is make a $29 donation to charity, and you get to attend an eight-hour course, one full Saturday or two evenings. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. More with Kirk and Michael right after this. Happy to be alongside financial instructors Kurt Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. They're both with the Retirement Education Foundation, and we want you to attend the Foundation's courses. These are retirement planning courses designed to help you feel confident as you walk into retirement. We we really believe you deserve a successful retirement, and it does not happen by chance, ladies and gentlemen. It does take a very well-detailed plan and one that accounts for income and taxation and helping you make sure you have your income throughout your whole retirement. And we talk about that here on the show, week in and week out. If you're a listener, you know that the deeper dive into these topics happens at the courses. And that's why we want you to attend. Here's how you can do it. You can go to the website, retirementplanningedu.com. 
retirementplanningedu.org. Again, that's retirementplanningedu.org, or you can call 800-240-8981. The courses are taught at the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. And you can choose to attend in the comfort of your own home if you want. They are all streamed live. So you can go to the website right now and find a date and a location that works best for you and make plans to attend. We're going to jump back into our topic of the day, the retirement lottery. And keep in mind, if you'd like to listen to this show, if you'd like to share this show with a friend, you're welcome to do that by simply searching for it wherever you find your podcast. Just look for the Retirement Education Hour. Again, that's the Retirement Education Hour. Kirk, Michael, we have been talking about this lottery of sorts, this retirement lottery. If you've won the lottery, let's say, the retirement lotto, what could steal your winnings, potentially? Well, Megan, it's something called sequence of returns risk. And we talk about it just about every show now. It's, oh, there's a number of things that can steal your your winnings. One of the major ones is sequence of returns risk. And it's probably, it's not probably, it is the number one risk to today's baby boomers retirement plans. And by the way, that's not me saying it, but academia has been saying this for years. And ironically, 19 out of 20 people when they're at a class won't know what a sequence of returns risk is. They've never heard of it. No one's talked about somehow the financial service industry has been able to suppress this risk because to prevent this risk and what's really going to drive performance in retirement is going to be when do I take income from which different investments I have during different market events, during different market conditions, right? So strategically taking income from the right accounts is going to drive your performance. It's not going to be the average rate of return. I promise you it will not be the average rate of return, but where you take your income from that's going to drive performance. 100% come to class and we'll teach you this. 20 different examples. In fact, you can go to the website and we do a sequence of returns white paper, and interactive calculator so you can quantify this and see what we mean. Michael, do me a favor because people are so focused because they're still serving money, they they forget. They they think it's the value of their accounts and the growth of the accounts that is the priority as opposed to the income that those accounts are generating and for how long that income is going to be generated for. So we talked about earlier on in the show, people who are picking a random number that they wanted to hit before they retire. And now, so 2022 is a rough year for the stock market and the bond market, which is not a surprise for anyone at this point. I hope not, at least. And their portfolios are down. So now they're further away from their targets. And the question they always ask themselves is, okay, well, I was targeting 3 million or 4 million or whatever it was. And now I have 1 million or 2 million or 3 million. And now I can't retire. Well, what does that mean for me? People always think about how close am I to retirement based on that one number. What is my portfolio size today? What is it yesterday? What, is it, what, what could it be tomorrow? That shouldn't be the question. The question should be, how much income can my portfolio generate for me once I retire? If that's enough income, why are you still working? Why, why are you still working? And then that, that directly influences, and it's why we talk about goal-based risk tolerance, right? It's goal-based. What do I need to give me what I want? And then I will determine what type of risk I need to take in my portfolio. How much? And we're going to talk about some bucketing in a minute, some, some basic solutions. That, and, and, and if you want to understand better, we'll go through in greater detail in the class. But making sure that you have the appropriate risk for whatever your needs are in retirement, not just to have risk to have, not just a book says I'm 60 years old, so therefore I should have 60% in, in bonds and 40% in stocks, the rule of 100. That is, that's garbage. That doesn't apply to you. What applies to you is individual to you, given what do you want in retirement. By the way, don't ever let a financial advisor ask you when you say, look, I'm, uh, I'm coming close to retirement. Can I retire? And their response will always be, well, how much income do you need in retirement? How much do you need? Forget that. Forget what you need. You're, you should respond back to the, the, to, the, to the financial service expert and say, how much income can I have in retirement right now? 
And if they're talking a silly 4% rule, run. They're doing no planning. They're using eMoney or Money Guy Pro, cookie cutter, software generated, no customization to you plan. Income planning. In your 60s, all day, you should be able to get 6, 7, 8, 9% streams of income that never stop your entire lifetime. It will continue forever, along with long-term care protections, along with protecting the surviving spouse, making sure that there is no event, no short-term market event that's going to make you panic and change your lifestyle because the portfolio value going up and down is irrelevant. What is my income it can produce for me for the rest of my life is what's relevant. And that's why you nailed it. People are so used to having the question asked to them, how much income do you need, when that should not be the question. The question should be, how much do you want, and does the current portfolio provide that or not? It takes a plan to tell someone that, a, a very complicated plan, but that's what the class is for, teaching people how to construct those plans to better understand, do I have enough to provide me the retirement I want? And if I do, how do I go about doing it? Not just hoping that the stock market recovers this year and that it continues to average what it's been averaging. That's not a promise. Exactly. And so in, so that's in the class, we're going to show, we teach what takes us 50, 60 hours to build a plan. A plan by industry experts, CPA, CFAs, wealth managers, attorneys, in our private practice takes us 50 to 60 hours to build. So in our class, we're gonna walk you through all of the levers and variables that are involved to create that maximum income plan or maximum legacy plan, whatever your goals are, we're gonna teach you how to construct that. All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to attend these eight hour courses, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back with Kirk and Michael right after this. Glad to have you with us for the Retirement Education Hour. We're talking today about the retirement lottery. We're going to get back to that very interesting discussion with Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. They are both financial instructors, by the way, with the Retirement Education Foundation. And we've been telling you throughout the show how you can get registered for the foundation's courses. These are deep dives into retirement planning, university level courses either a one-day or a two-day course, up to you. They're also streamed live, so you can watch from your home, or you can attend in person at the following universities, the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, Novi or Troy Campus, or Oakland University. It's either a one-day or a two-day course, up to you, and you can get registered at the website. Go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org, or call 800 240 8981. We're going to get back to our conversation here on the show. And by the way, speaking of this show, if you'd like to listen again, if you'd like to share with someone you care about, you're welcome to do that. You can find this show wherever you find your podcast. Just search for the Retirement Education Hour. Again, that's the Retirement Education Hour. All right, Kirk, Michael, let's keep talking about the retirement lottery. You know, let's say you win the retirement lottery, but you still find yourself panicking. You've got anxiety. What What's happening there for people who are experiencing that? Uh, Megan, this is, this is going to happen to everyone. And so, Baby boomers wear it like a badge of honor that during 2008, we didn't panic. We were disciplined investors. We were able to manage our, the, 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 the psychology and, the, and, our, and our irrational thoughts and those behaviors that causes people to panic. We didn't do it. We did it right. And, and that's true. And we're proud of you. The majority of baby boomers, the majority, majority did not panic. I would say, and I will tell you, that it is a heck of a lot easier not to panic when someone is sending you a paycheck every two weeks to pay your bills. And when you're 40, 45, 35, as opposed to 55, 60, or 65. Exactly. So, so look, I, just, I need to tell these people, our listeners, you people, yes, you people with $1 to $10 million, you engineers, do-it-yourselfers, we know who's listening to our shows, the CEOs, the CFOs, the CPAs, the attorneys. I promise you, I promise you one thing. We know more about retirement than you do. And I can promise you 
that this is the first time you will ever plan for retirement and manage retirement in your life. This is the first time you're going to ever do it. And it is insane to do that without at least investing eight hours in an educational course because your behavior is going to get in the way. We're going to have major market events throughout your retirement. Over a 30-year retirement, statistically speaking, it's going to happen three to seven times. Major market events, just like we're experiencing right now and worse, like we experienced in 2000, 2008, you're going to experiencing these short-term market events. And what all the research tells us, with all you really smart, disciplined people, as you age and cognitively things change, you become more vulnerable. You become a little more confused. You get more scared and anxious because no one else is sending you a paycheck. You are paying yourselves. The financial service industry leverages this fear and this irrational anxiety And they feed it by telling you to spend less and protect your principal. And that's why you, most of you will underspend what you otherwise could spend because you're protecting principal and you're panicking and you don't need to be here. A couple quick statistics and I'm going to throw it to Michael. 35% of people over the age of 65 years old panicked in March during COVID at the bottom, 35% of people over the age of 65 panicked in March during COVID during the crash panicked. And missed the be- the, one of the best bull runs. It was the best bull run in history. 51 days in history, right? The best days are after the worst days, guys. By the way, just wanted everyone to know that. In 2008, 60% of retirees, 60% of retirees panicked during the financial crisis. And many of those people missed the best 10-year run in the market history following that financial crisis. And don't tell me it's not going to be you because you're going to be older, more vulnerable. Cognitively, things are changing. you got to invest eight hours of education. Michael, it's so behavioral. It's all about emotions in your relationship with money. So that's why it's funny. People will come to the class and they tell us, no, 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 no. I've read, I've read books. I've done research my, um, my own. And I'll never panic because I know the stats. I know these numbers. Well, two things. First and foremost, it's a lot easier to say that when it's not your experience, your dollars shrinking when you're retired. When someone's 35, 40, 45, 50, you can't put yourself in the shoes of someone who's actually retired and actually seeing their portfolio getting cut in half in a year. You don't know what that feels like, that fear. And the people making those mistakes, they read the books too. They knew the stats too, but they still panicked because it's emotions. Michael, the inventor of the four percent rule, Bill Bangin, right? That's his name, William Bangin, right? Yep. Yep. The inventor of the 4% rule invented in 1994, 93, 94. He panicked. He's an expert in the industry. He panicked. He went to over 60% cash. He panicked in 2016. He panicked folks. (laughs) You're not, I know how bright you are. You guys have accumulated a lot of wealth partially because you were disciplined, a lot because you were disciplined, partially because of skill. You guys are maybe overestimating your skill because you went through the greatest 10-year bull run in the history of the stock market when your portfolios were at the, the, the get greatest horsepower of compound interest. Here's the numbers you don't know. Just you do, Here's the variable you don't know. You know statistically that markets go up and down and over the long run they go up. But you don't understand the math when you start withdrawing income out of it to live on. And you're going to say, well, I won't spend the money when we have market volatility. You don't have a choice once you start taking required minimum distributions. You have to pull money out of the market. Folks, (laughs) you got to come to the class to understand first where the traps are and then what the solutions are. And our radio show, all we have, we have eight minute segments That's it. Not the eight hours to walk you through the math so you can understand it because we know the listeners, you got to understand it. The engineers, the do-it-yourselfers, you want to understand. So that's why it's eight hours so you can understand the math and then we can teach you the solutions. And I think in our next segment, maybe we talk about one of the solutions around planning, what you need to have in your plan to be able to give you that freedom to not worry about the total portfolio value at any given time, but to sustain those sequence of returns risks and those market volatilities and not change your lifestyle. Attend an eight-hour course. I hope you're beginning to learn. You need to attend an eight-hour course. It's a 200-page textbook. We're teaching them at all the major universities. We're also streaming from the universities. There's really no excuse not to attend. 
All you have to do is make a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org. And we'll be back. There's much more with Kirk and Michael right after this. Here with Kirk Cassidy and Michael Mazarin. They are financial instructors with the Retirement Education Foundation. And this is the Retirement Education Hour. We're very glad you're spending part of your day with us today. I'm Megan Mozak, and the topic of the day has been quite interesting, to say the least. We're talking about the retirement lottery. Have you won it? Well, we've got more to say on this, and uh, stay tuned. But before we get back to the subject at hand, want to make sure that you're registered for the foundation's courses on retirement. These are university-level courses, and fittingly, they're taught at major Michigan universities, including the University of Michigan, Eastern Michigan University, Michigan State University, both the Novi and Troy campuses, or Oakland University. Here's how you register. Go to the website. It's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800 240 8981. It has been a great show today. And speaking of this show, if you'd like to listen again, or if you'd like to listen to any episode of the Retirement Education Hour, just head over to wherever you find your podcasts. This program is available via podcast. Just search for the Retirement Education Hour. All right. So as we talk about this, Kirk and Michael, the Retirement Lottery, let's say you have won it. How do you maximize your winnings? Well, the answer is, and it's always the answer for our last segment of our show every week, it's planning, right? And so the key to effectively being successful in retirement, and success is defined by not allowing short-term market events to change your lifestyle, no matter what's happening, no matter who's being elected or what's going on in the market. You need to continue going on vacation, doing your home improvement projects. You should not change your lifestyle because of a a short-term market event and they're going to, because they're going to continue to happen. And and to do that, you have to have a plan. And the plan has got to give us the ability to have different accounts throughout retirement, structuring your income strategically. And when there is a shift in a market event, when something changes in market conditions, instead of managing your investments, you manage where you take your income from. Michael, we we oversimplify a very complicated strategy. I mean, it takes us 60 hours to build a plan with tax planning and everything involved, 60 hours. But to oversimplify it, we often refer to them as buckets. I know everyone has their buckets or levers, right? And having different buckets allows us to, instead of panic, pivot where we take our income from to have that freedom. So you nailed it. And I was teasing Kirk at the break because he kind of cut me off on my second point in our earlier segment. So from earlier, you can't panic. That can't be an option. But simply not panicking is also not the answer. If someone says, I'm going to throw my password away from my account and never look at the market and never panic. If we have a sequence of return risk event and you just simply don't panic, that could also wind up with you running into trouble and pulling too much money out because pulling money out when the market's falling can blow a whole plan up. So the answer isn't panic. It's not don't panic. It has to be building a plan with those different buckets or pivots so that when the market does fall, we have a safe place to turn to to get income from to bide our time and allow the market to recover. Because we know the market's going up, Michael, right? It always does. It's always going to, the, the S&P 500 is performing at over 10% over the last 20, 30 years. It's, it's always going to go up over any extended period of time. Your challenge is when you are pulling money out of an investment that is down. And last year, none of you had anywhere to hide. Most of you, even if you were 60, 40, in fact, if you were tw- uh, 80% bonds and 20% equities, you still got yourself crushed. Because you didn't have an effective plan to have an account, bonds is not the only answer, folks. It is part of the plan. It's part of the solution. But you learned last year, it's not all the solution, right? You need to map this out so that no matter the market conditions, you are pulling your income from the appropriate type of accounts, portfolios, investments, tools, whatever name you want to give it. When you go to our website, you can see a sample plan if you want to watch the webinar or if you come to the class, we go through a couple examples of plans. Those plans took 60 hours. It's not some software that just generates and spits out this solution. It's running iteration after iteration after iteration 
finding the most efficient path from a tax perspective, managing sequence of returns risk. So if we have this market event, do I have a pivot at this time frame? Do I have a pivot at this time? Frame? Do I have a pivot at this time frame? Did I Roth convert the right amount of money to minimize my RMDs and my taxable portion of Social Security? It's a gigantic puzzle that none of you, none of you are qualified to do. The majority of the financial service industry, most CFPs won't even understand. It's we're teaching master's level retirement planning, the type of planning, really high net worth, $25 million plus family offices are doing with their clients. That's what we're teaching you in the class. And you mentioned it's not a software. And then that's some people assume, well, it's got to be a software. There's no way they're building 60 hour plus plans. And it's not. If it was, every firm in the country would have one and they would use it. Instead, since it's not a software, what they use is eMoney or Money Guy Pro. There's an intern t- dumping in five or six inputs and it spits out a 60 page report, which is really pretty. It's got all the charts and all the colors and all the pie graphs and the probability of success. But the having, dial, Michael, don't forget about the dial everyone lives yeah, by. Having an, a 94% chance of success in retirement, okay, great, you're in the green zone. But what does that mean? Pull income from which accounts at which times? Roth convert when and how? How do I prepare for sequence of returns risk? All those different things are not covered by an eMoney or Money Guy Pro report. Michael, what it means is it means they can take 4% out and they have a 94% chance of not outliving their money. That's crazy. In the class, we're going to teach you, literally teach you how to take out 6, 7, 8, 9% per year in your 60s with no chance of outliving your income, zero chance of outliving your income. Bulletproof, protecting from long-term care events, protecting from a, uh, one of your spouses dying early, or if they die late, what it, it impacts the, the taxable portion of, of Social Security, Medicare, all of the variables, eight hours of education, 200-page textbook, you got to register. We're teaching them at just about all the major universities. They're either a two evenings, four hours each evening, or one full eight-hour Saturday course. All we ask for is a $29 donation to charity. If you'd like to register, go to retirementplanningedu.org. That's retirementplanningedu.org or call 800-240-8981. Investment advisory services are offered by Strategic Investment Advisors, Inc., an SEC-registered investment advisory firm. Investing involves risk, including the potential loss of principal. Any insurance discussed in this show is backed by the financial strength and claims-paying abilities of the issuing carrier. This show is intended for informational purposes only. It is not intended to be used as the sole basis for financial decisions, nor should it be construed as advice designed to meet the particular needs of an individual situation. Retirement Education Foundation is not permitted to offer, and no statement made during this show shall constitute tax or legal advice. Our firm is not affiliated with or endorsed by the U.S. government or any governmental agency. The information and opinions contained herein provided by third parties have been obtained from sources believed to be reliable, but accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed by Retirement Education Foundation. This radio show is a paid placement.